left. Hello, hello. Are we live? Yes, we are. Oh, yes, no. Oh, stop. Hello, everybody. How are you today? It's Wednesday, April 22nd, and it's a very, very special um, day today because it's one, the first and the only lesson of this week. And second is the birthday of Stephen. Happy birthday. Thank you. So you can send him on comments. Happy birthday, Stephen. Happy birthday, Stephen. Happy birthday, Stephen. And um, so we are doing today an Egyptian um, cake called Basbusa. Repeat after me. Basbusa. Yes. And I will um, tell you a beautiful story about Basbusa a little bit later. And at the end of the of the of the of the what of the show mm -hmm. show at the end of the show remember because it's his birthday and he doesn't have his friends with him today you are all his friends he's giving away this little sculpture he did um, recently and we have in the tarbouche like what how many names no, no, forty like forty names. So thanks for all of you to participate and at the end of the of the video we'll pick one name and this name will be the winner of this. So I put it here and let's start. So we have semolina, milk, butter or ghee, I use ghee today, coconut, sugar, almond, orange zest. Remember, the, the ingredients will be at the end of the, of the video. Um, sugar, sugar, water, water, and something um, um, mold to make the, um, the, the cake. Are you ready? First thing, melt this, the butter or the ghee, slowly, and Steven, you can come here already. Oh, we are going to already? make the sugar also. Oh, just, is the orange necessary in this recipe? Uh, no. Because Emma's asking, she's very disturbed. No, 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 it's not. You can put lemon, Emma, if you want, or nothing else. I'm just going to do that to put some lemon. Trigger warning. Oranges are involved. <laughs> some zest into the sugar. So, we are going to make two sugar, a very light sugar, which means sugar and water. And the thick one, same, oh. sugar and water, a little bit less of water. And so we can't wash, it's too disturbing. This is the, um, yeah, but it's the birthday of your best friend, Emma, so you have to stay. Close your eyes, just listen to my voice. <laughs> um, this is the thick sugar and this is the light sugar. The thick sugar will be used in the recipe and the light sugar will be used at the end of the recipe. So how to make sugar? It's very easy. We turn the heat. Wait, you mean sugar syrup? Uh, syrup, sorry, syrup. sorry, sorry, okay. syrup. Oh, this one doesn't work. Voila. So the light sugar, you can mix it. Syrup. Uh, syrup, sorry. You can mix it until the sugar is really well dissolved. The heavy one, the heavy syrup, yes, the heavy syrup, you don't mix it, you just do that. Why? Because this one is not going to cook, the light one is not going to cook very much. We just bring it to a boil and then we stop. It needs to cool at the end, to be used at the end. Here, the butter is melted already, it's fine. There's a lot going on on the oven today. Yes, We're I know. Busy. It's, I know. It's a lot. So, and here, the thick one, we are going to thicken it. So that's why we don't stir. Because if we stir, it crystallizes. The light syrup is boiling now. First boil, up, you stop. It's finished. It's over. Thank you very much. We put the lemon zest inside. Orange zest. No, lemon. Don't say orange. Sorry. You're welcome. And this one, 
let's move it here be easier so you see mm -hmm. the sugar has dissolved by itself just by doing that and as soon as it boils we are going to keep it like that very low heat for up five minutes and then we thicken the syrup. So keep it boiling for five minutes? Yes, boiling, but uh, more simmering than boiling. We don't so want like big boil. You bring it to a big boil and then when it's boiling, up, down, mm -hmm. simmering. Can you show how, how simmering is simmering? Simmer. How, how simmer is simmering? Shimmer. Okay, not more than that. Oh yeah, she's shimmer. And you see? So it's Stephen's birthday, so he's talking a lot today. Yes. Eliza, what do you think about that? Okay, the butter is good here. Let it sit a little bit. Let's go back on the other side. And I'm going to tell you a story. Get the milk. Oh. Oh, what? Sorry, technical. next to the sugar because we are going to add the thick sugar inside this mixture and and we have three minutes for the story of the basbusa so basbusa is the name of this cake b a s b o u s s a basbusa was my um uh, no, how do you call that little name uh, pet, pet name one of my pet names. When I was a kid, my dad was calling me Basbusa. Why? Probably because I was sweet. So I asked many, many uh, pastries in Arabic has a meaning. So I asked my friends all over the world, here in New York, in Paris, in Lebanon, in Egypt. Nobody can tell me what's the meaning of Basbusa. When finally my friend Maria in Amman, in Jordany, asked a friend of her who is an um, an actress, a Syrian actress, and she gave her the explanation. So first, a little Arabic lesson. Bas in Arabic means just, only. And busa means a kiss. So remember, bas means only, and busa, a kiss. Fatma is in the kitchen. She is preparing a cake. When Rashid is coming, Rashid is her husband, and Rashid says, Oh, what are you doing, Fatma? She said, Oh, I'm making a new, I'm making a new cake. I've never did it before. It's the first time I'm doing this cake. Oh, that's very nice. Give me a busa. Give me a kiss. And Fatma says, No, come on, Rashid. You see, I'm busy. I'm busy now. Pass busa. Just one. She gives the busa, he leaves. Ring the bell. He's working in the kitchen and yes, someone comes and says, okay, you get it. Then, in the afternoon, friends of Rashid and Fatma are coming for a tea and Fatma is serving the new cake. And the friends are trying the cake and they said, oh my God, this cake is delicious. When did you do that? She said, oh, I did that today. Oh, and what's the name of the cake? And the couple look at each other and they said together, best busa. And that should be, that's the origin of the name of the cake. So we don't know if the story is true, but it doesn't matter. It's a nice story. So my name is and this cake is for you. Thank you. Um, I do have a question. Yes. What is the difference between using butter and ghee? Um, ghee doesn't ha is lactose-free uh, lactose and gluten-free. A lot of gluten here. But in case you don't want lactose, you can use ghee. In Middle East, most of the recipes are made with ghee and not butter. I think it's just a, um, a tradition. They do that, but mostly for that. Ghee doesn't have uh, lactose 
and doesn't have gluten. Okay, so we have the semolina here. We have the ghee. The ghee got, yes, a little bit not too warm. Now don't put it too warm because we don't want to cook the semolina. So you pour the semolina here like that and you mix well everything. The sugar, the heavy sugar is ready. So you take this sugar, so look, let me show you the difference. This is the light sugar. Syrup. Syrup? Oh, what do I have with that today? You see, this is the light one and this is the thick one, the heavy one, you see? It's like almost caramel now. If you let it cook a little bit more, it will be caramel. So you pour the heavy sugar in... Sir. Uh, the heck. Okay, let's call it sugar today. Okay. The, <laughs> the, heavy, uh, the heavy syrup in the milk and the sugar. And let's put it back here. We'll take care of that a little bit later. Back to the semolina, semolina and ghee. And you mix that really well. So what you can do is to mix it that way. And then you don't wake up the gluten too much. So that means there won't be like big chunk of semolina in your cake. And you make sure that there is butter or ghee everywhere. Like the semolina is really, really well coat, coat, coated. Coated. Yes, with the butter. You can even do that with your hands if it's easier for you, and you will feel even more better. But you see, you really look like if there is anything dry. So now, if you like coconut, you can add coconut now. It's the moment to add coconut. If you don't like coconut, you can do it without coconut. It's okay. Mix it again. And now you're going to boil the mix of um, heavy, sh heavy syrup, um, milk, and sugar. Again. So that takes two minutes. Not even. We need it. We want it very warm. And here you continue to mix it always like that, vertical. I think it's good. Um, you have prepared the almond. Okay. Do you know how to peel the almond? When you buy an almond, there is the skin on it. If you want to peel it. You throw the almond in the hot water, in boiling water, you boil for one minute and then you just do that up and the peel is leaving. Voilà. So if you have questions, remember to ask the question to Stephen, our birthday boy. Yes. How old are you, Stephen? I'm 29. Oh. I know, just a baby. The last year of your 20s. I know. Okay, so this is boiling. While this is boiling, you prepare your tray with the mold. So I'm, go I'm going to do a mold like that today because it's his birthday, so I'm making something look like a birthday cake, but you can use a square, a long one, anything, and you can make it thicker or less thick. So this is boiling, boiled. Ah, whoa. Okay, and you pour that in the semolina. He's playing with his phone. And responding to Simon. You're receiving text saying happy birthday. Yes. Okay, and you mix this like that. You mix it well. Hmm. 
know what? We are going to do something else. Um, yes. I'm going to make it, because I'm going to show you that way, but I'm going to do it here. Today. I will change. Okay, so you see how the semolina is. It's kind of liquid. It's not totally liquid, but it's a little bit liquid. It's not like super solid. And that's perfect. That's very good. So, one thing is... Do you bake it? Yes, we are going to bake it. Yes, I forgot to tell you, turn off your oven. Preheat the oven at four, four, um, 400 Fahrenheit. Take some butter. Put the butter here. Like this. So, some people will tell you, you can, when you pour the, um, the batter here, inside that, you can leave it in the fridge for 15 minutes, not more than one hour. I never tried like that, so I don't know what's the effect of that, but you can try if you want. So you see, it gets already a little bit thicker. Make it clean and nice. You see, and now it's like perfectly flat. I'm, I'm looking for it. And now you can put the almond. So I'm going to put like four almonds like this one here, one here. and one here. Do you want more almonds? You can put more here, no problem. If you don't like almonds, you can put any other nuts on the top. And up, open that, and this goes in the fridge, in the fridge. What do we have today? In the oven for at least 30 minutes. And um, until really the top is really gold and nice. And do not open the door of your um, oven before 30 minutes. But really the top must be really golden, not too much. I, it can, it can go very fast. Um, get <coughs> and when this is done, as soon as you take it, so now we have to wait, but as soon as you take it out of the oven, Straight, you pour the syrup on the top of the cake. Okay, so you take it when the cake is cooked, immediate, immediately after, you don't wait, you pour the syrup on it, and the cake is going to drink. Are you sleeping? No, I'm just yawning. Oh, no. <laughs> and the, the cake is going to absorb it. Yes. Yeah. All the syrup, and then you let it cool, and you can eat it like that. So, 30 minutes, 40 minutes after the cake, magic, the cake is ready. Oh. Et voilà. And now we can have a little bit of. Music. <laughs> 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 Do I blow it out? Yes, it's yours, it's your birthday. 
<laughs> come here, come here. <laughs> What's up? Okay. Who's that? Uh, yeah. right, okay. No, nah, you can you can do it. Happy birthday, Busa? Best Busa? Best Busa? Alright, we're gonna go now. Hey, yes, now it's you, huh? you're in front of the camera today. Oh. Um, Look. Okay, now what do, I, what do I do? I'm not the, I'm not the host. <laughs> hey, um, now, now you mix. Okay, you're now going I to mix. Pick. Okay. So there are 40 names in yes. here, and one of these names is going to win. My dog. He's dog, so uh, I'm thank you everyone that. for entering, by the way, and donating. I think we raised like six hundred dollars for the food for bank. The food bank of New York, which is like twenty five hundred meals. So that's good. What? <laughs> okay. Hey. Okay. No more waiting. Okay. Okay. Pinky curtain. Yes. yes Congratulations, Pinky. Pinky. Congratulations. That's yours? It's yours. Um, I don't know if you're watching, but I'll mail it out today, I guess. Yeah. That's all. Congratulations, Pinky. I'm Congratulations. sorry for the other one, but yes. you can still go on the on the Instagram account of Steven and yes. look at his dogs. And I'll do more of these giveaways later this summer because I have fun. I'll do it again. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'll get my camera again. Go back. Yes. Congratulations, Pinky, and thanks, yes, everyone for playing here. So this is the best busa. Um, so you see it's a very, very soft cake. Let's cut it. Very soft, it's full of sugar. And really delicious. Here. Wait, I didn't even get to eat it. You want to try? Yes. Mmm, yeah. Good? You like Very it? Very good. Much, I love it. Great. Mm. Thank you, everyone. Now it's finished. Oh, only 20 minutes today. That was fast with all of that. So, um, uh, I made a little change in the, in, the, um, in, the, in the lessons. Now there will be only two lessons per uh, week and not three. And the lessons will be at 11 a.m. instead of 1 p.m. So the lessons will be Wednesday and Saturday, okay? So I'll see you next week, Wednesday or Saturday at 11 a.m. New York. Uh, thank you very much. Happy birthday, um, Stephen again. Sana helwa ya gamin. What? Sana helwa ya gamin. That means um, have an, uh, your year is will be nice. You have a nice year, ya gamin, my beauty. That's very nice. I like that. Thank okay. you very much. See you next week. Bye.